Hello and welcome to Gamey View. If you are new here, make sure to drop a like and subscribe on my channel as it's greatly appreciated and helps out a lot. Now today we are playing Hoko Life on um, the Nintendo Switch on, on the OLED system. And uh, this is a, a, a new game. It's launching, well, technically today. Um, I've picked up the Japan version, so I'll get it a day early essentially. But it's launching tomorrow on... Um, all platforms and it's basically like a um animal crossing clone as, as best as as you can describe it um it's very cheap um so it's not as like as expensive as an animal crossing but uh let's turn the volume up but um hopefully it's going to be quite as nice now so far it doesn't seem to follow like the real world time this is the very beginning of the game, so I'm hoping maybe it does change. But other than that, uh, I've noticed that there is a cross-progression uh, for your save on different platforms, which is quite good. Um, I'm hoping to get this on Xbox as well. I'm really hoping it's coming to Game Pass, but if not, I'll still pay for it anyway. And, um, you know, have a different save. On there, see how it runs on the Xbox. I'll have a video up of that as well. Now, the initial load screen um, into uh, just just into the game is quite long. Put an axe, um, but in you know inside the game, it's not too bad. Oh, the. Where's my axe? Oh, there it is. Oh, now it seems to run. Uh, it seems to run alright, apart from the, the loading screens. I mean, it, it looks quite Animal Crossing esque, so it's not too taxing. I still think Animal Crossing looks far better, uh, mind, but. Uh, you know, on I'm assuming on Xbox and PlayStation systems, you'll find this uh, runs a lot better. In there, no. So you can see it says Tuesday, second of spring, nine a.m. Um, that's not the current time at all. So, yeah, it's not looking like it does follow a real, uh, real world time, which something like Dreamlight Valley does, Animal Crossing does as well, you know, night and day. Had to chop something. I don't actually know what, what I'm doing at the minute. I'm just w walking around, exploring. I think I'm trying to set up a house or buy a house or, or something. <laughs> Can't speak to this person. Yeah, we're not open yet. Fair enough. Oh, okay, all the houses. Got to clear the mess around all the houses. So certainly, if you're into your uh, Animal Crossing type games, as I am, uh, definitely worth giving this one a try. It's it, Like I said, it's launched in Japan right now, which is how I'm able to play it right now. It's launching tomorrow for everywhere else at time of recording, of course. Uh, it did have a discount as well on the Japan store. 20% uh, off I think so I'm assuming it's gonna have a similar one and like I said it might be that it comes to Game Pass or PlayStation Extra that sort of thing uh, I think I've cleared I've cleared all the wood uh, 
Ah, oh, no, there we go. Doesn't seem to be a stamina gauge. See Mr. Giraffe, who's uh, quite obviously the Tom Nook of this uh, village. I like the music's quite uh, gentle. Certainly will, my fellow. So it looks like we're on our way to be getting a house. So this is just a quick little look at Hoko Life on the Nintendo Switch service uh, on the OLED in uh, handheld mode, as you can see. And uh, yeah, it's running very well. Looks very nice for, well, for a Switch game, I guess. <laughs> Hoping that it'll look a hell of a lot better on uh, Xbox, PlayStation. Uh, when it launches tomorrow, we'll be picking up... Uh, the Xbox version, I believe. Uh, but yeah, there we are. So we'll leave it there. So Hoko Life looking and running very well on the Switch. Apart from the initial load screen, I've not come across any other issues. However, this is the beginning of the game, of course. But uh, if you interact with a house, you'd like to bring it. There we are, getting our house. So there we are. Thanks very much for watching. Make sure to drop a like and subscribe, all that good stuff. And we'll see you a lot again.